My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We've got a very special Camaro here today. It's a 1972 RSSS 396 air-conditioned four-speed car with numbers matching. They only made 900, 930, 970 uh, SS396 cars total in 1972. Add the Rally Sport, add a four-speed, add air conditioning, uh, not only does it make it extremely rare, but those are all really desirable features. This has been body off frame restored to very nice condition. You can go to volocars.com, take your time and study all the pictures, uh, read the description, and that's where you'll find a price tag on this car and every other car we have for sale, along with a monthly finance option as well. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe, click on the bell icon, and you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. For right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. Yeah, really clean body car. All the metal's really nice and dry, and that goes for the underside as well. The floors, the rockers, the pinch welds, all nice clean metal. It's been prepped and painted a satin black, so it's all tidy and clean. Uh, the subframe, everything was dropped from the car. Uh, the subframe, you can see new bushings. The front end was all rebuilt. Uh, the rear suspension, bushing, shocks, that's all been replaced. Uh, the fuel system, the tank has been replaced. Uh, a nice sounding dual exhaust, you'll hear it towards the end of the video. Uh, brakes all look to be in great shape. The e-brakes hooked up, their disc in front. Uh, you look up at the motor, it's nice and clean. The starter's clean. Uh, the Muncie 4-speed is VIN number matched to this car. It's the original Muncie 4-speed. That's all nice and clean. Uh, the rear end is a 342 Posi uh, gear in it. Uh, so yeah, underneath is exceptional. Uh, the body looks really nice. Uh, the roof, nice and straight, no issues. No issues here. Uh, this is all nice, lines up perfectly square and flush. No rust, no bubbles, no door dings. It's a long door. They can get some door dings. None on this one. It's all smooth, all clean metal, all fits real nice, lines up nice, straight. Now the Rally Sport, the nose sticks out. On a non-Rally Sport, you have one bumper all the way across. But this has the nose that sticks out reconfigured uh, lights and grill. Um, so that's what the Rally Sport mostly consists of. Straight, no dents, no damage, no waves. This side of the car is just as straight and clean. All clean metal. It's not a new paint job either. And there's no bubbles or blisters. There's a few nicks and chips I'll tell you about in a minute here. But this is a really nice, dry, clean body. No issues here on this side either. They had a low spoiler and they had the tall three-piece spoiler. Obviously, this is a tall one. This is all nice back here. So the body is excellent. The red paint, it is a color enhancement. I forget what the original color was, but they changed the color to red. Uh, and it shows beautifully. Uh, there's a little texture in places. There's a little texture right here. There's some chips on the edge right there. Um, you got sport mirrors. Yeah, I mean, there's going to be a few imperfections if you go looking for them, but really nothing to speak of. The windshield uh, looks like that's been replaced. It's nice and clear. The molding's been replaced. Uh, the rubber seals are soft along here, and the weather strips are soft. Door handle has a little bit of pitting going on. Emblems are sparkling. Has the uh, chin spoiler way down underneath there. Bumpers are in good shape. The trim, all that's real good. The chrome inside the grill, this is tarnished. This is original, and that's got a real like tarnished look to it. Emblem looks new. 
got the nice, uh, the correct wheels on there, BF Goodrich tires, taller, fatter tire in the back for a nice muscle stance. Uh, in back, I think it's the original bumper, it has an old uh, sticker on the back and just enough wear on it. I think it's the original bumper will say it's in good shape. Back window, real nice and clear. So that's the outside of the car. Come with me, I'll check out the inside. See what the trunk compartment looks like. Well, under the trunk lids, painted nice. We've got a working light. The jam is nice and clean. The weather strips replaced. The factory seams are nice and clean. There's a factory part number. Uh, so inside the trunk, all solid metal. Been spatter painted neatly. It's got the rubber mat. Uh, good clean quarter panels. Uh, I believe they're the original. There's no cuts or splices that I found. This is a rare, fun car, but this is a rare investment type car. Of the 72 Camaros, this would be the ultimate. You went back to 72 and ordered one. I don't think you could order it better than this one. So the door jams are really clean. The bottom lip is super nice and dry. The weather strips are replaced. Door panels are in really excellent shape. It's the Rally Sport, which I think that's why it has the wood grain trim. There's the full gauge package, tachometer, <clears throat> correct cigarette lighter, the dash pad. They almost all do it on a Camaro. It's curled up in front. That's just what they do. Uh, it's an AC car, so it has the vents, uh, Sony stereo, but the glove box, this whole area is real nice and clean. Center console's in excellent shape. You got a Hurst 4 speed. Seats have great cushion and upholstery, and the carpet's been replaced. It has uh, reproduction floor mats, it has a tilt wheel, even. The back seats are upholstered, and the side panels are in excellent shape. Very tidy interior, very nice. Got some 6x9 speakers in back. Headliner is nice and tight. The dome light works. The visors are excellent. Original mirror is a little bit of clouding around the edges. Yeah, this is a very well-optioned car. So like I was saying earlier, go back to 72. What, what's this car missing? What could you order? that this one doesn't have that would make it better, more desirable. This is the ultimate. Uh, so it's uh, the VIN number matching, original, correct motor, casting codes, dates, all that lines up, all stock, all the manifolds, uh, brackets, uh, air cleaners, valve covers. I apologize, they're a little dusty. We should check that. Uh, the air conditioning's been updated with 134 Freon. Everything looks proper. The way the hoses are, and wires are run, uh, batteries bolted down, uh, all up here is real nice. It has the horns, it has a shroud, power steering, power brakes, you got hood insulation, you got an underhood light, squirters are hooked up. Very nice compartment. Now the tag back there in the firewall tells us, there's pictures on our site, but a Z27 LS3, that is an SS396 car. There's a letter U in the VIN number that says it's a 396 car. And for those of you that are a little confused, they actually uh, became 402s, but they still called them 396s. It was just well-branded. Uh, so they just ran with that, but they were 402s by 72. Runs good, clutch feels good. Just came out of service. They fixed the air conditioning. They fixed the shift linkage. Uh, a little laundry list of stuff. Turn key and working good. I see even the clock is working. Mm. 
So here's a nice quality, good, clean, rust-free, number-matching investment car you can enjoy. You know, not many people got a four-speed with air. Usually the four-speed guy didn't want air conditioning uh, taking away any horsepower or taking up room in his engine compartment. So just that combination by itself is rare. RSSS Big Block Four Speed Air Car. Go to volocars.com, talk to the salesman, they'll help answer your questions, they'll help get this delivered, they'll help you finance it at volocars.com. If you enjoy our video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell icon. We've got some great cars coming up. Thanks for watching.